Hello, today we're going to take a look at our inventory round tool. As you know, in GP, the unit cost field stores a maximum of five decimals, and this can result in rounding issues when total cost is divided. What inventory round does is to help with this um, to distribute the same actual cost per item per inventory layer. It then posts any differences to the general ledger, which solves variance issues due to rounding in GL. So here's a look at an environment without inventory round. This is out of the box GP and how it handles it. We've got this PO receipt here for 13 items, uh, 12 items at $89.11, and then the last one at $89.09. That's how it handles the rounding. And this is the issue that inventory round addresses. Now I'm in an environment with inventory round. I've got a PO receipt set up the same way as that one we just looked at, and I'm gonna go ahead and post this. Oops, after I remove my batch. And we'll just cancel to these reports. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna hop over to inventory receipts and we'll bring up that same item number. say it north and here it's all on one item with the same price of $89.11 and now let's go look at it in GL so here's the GL transaction and uh, if we scroll down here we've got our two cents of rounding here <clears throat> um, and this is the difference um, reflected as a credit to inventory and a debit to the cost of goods sold. So that was a real quick look at our inventory round. If you'd like to get in touch with us to learn more about it or any of our other awesome tools, here's how you can do that. And thank you for watching.